Hello everyone, uh, here I'm going to be showing you in and around my home theater computer and then hooking it back up and showing what it can do. Uh, it's a um, full-fledged computer. It's self-contained, meaning that it, it, it doesn't depend on anything else on the network. It has all its files in itself and it's powerful enough to run uh, GameCube and PlayStation 2 emulators. So, um, Start with the back panel here. There's your motherboard I/O panel. It has a, you know, your DVI, VGA ports, bunch of USBs, single PS2 port for keyboard and mouse, a uh, legacy keyboard and mouse, LAN, uh, audio, which I'm not really using. Now here, this VGA port here, that's actually part of the video card, as you can see here. Nice little feature of the case has that that cut out there. And then there's your HDMI and DVI for the video card. Uh, USB 3 right here. That's a USB 3 card. As you can see here, this is the front panel USB 3 that came with the case. But the motherboard doesn't have USB 3, so I got the card. And the power supply here. That's the Blu-ray drive. There's very little space between them. That's one limitation of this this case is that you have a length limitation on both of these. You have to get a rather short one or there won't be any room between them. Now coming down here, right in there, that's the solid state drive. That's 120 gigs. Uh, operating systems installed on that. And then over here, you can't really see the label, but that's a 3 terabyte Western Digital hard drive. All the media is stored on that. Now coming up here, some cable management there, kind of messy. That's a space for a second hard drive. Don't have it yet. If I run out of room, I'll get one there. Case fans there, they're very quiet. Here's your CPU fan, also very quiet. And yeah, not not much to see down there. Of course, that's the video card as I was showing earlier. It's a low profile one, very nice for this kind of PC. And coming around to the front here. The Blu-ray drive case badges, USB 3, um, power and reset. Not much to see here. Looks pretty nice. It's quite a small case. It's exactly the same width as a regular home theater component. Uh, very shallow as you can see. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a very good system. I just finished it uh, like last month. So now I'm going to take it back in. Hook it back up, turn it on, see you guys soon. Alright, got it hooked back up right here. You can see the Blu-ray player is on top of it. Plugged into the front of it there is an Xbox 360 controller. And if you come around the back here, it's kind of dark so you probably can't see, but you've got uh, the um, infrared receiver for the remote plugged in as well as the dongles for Bluetooth and the keyboard and mouse plus HDMI, Ethernet, and of course power. Now if you haven't seen the rest of the system, what you got, you got the TV, 40 inch, center speaker, and iPod dock, some controllers there, receiver, cable box and old VCR, and then over there you got front left, front right, subwoofer, it's a killer. And back here, right around and left around. Now to control it, I got the massive keyboard for the computer, Xbox 360 controller for playing the emulators, and there it is, Harmony 1 Universal Remote. Now the computer is not on yet, but I'm going to press, if you can see it, Use Computer, and that's going to start everything else up. So, show you how fast this boots up because it's on the tripod so you can see the TV. And powering on the computer now.
Here's what you call the find a wallpaper I like. That's the space shuttle launching at night. Maybe that driver to install, I'm not sure what that is. Okay, that's good to go. So the main heart of the system is XBMC Media Center. Uh, it's a free open source media center program. Oh, there goes Steam. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shut that off. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, but anyway, I'm gonna start up XBMC right here using the remote. Now here I have. Um, Blu-ray rips, mainly, also some DVDs of TV shows and movies on the hard drive. It's about half full now. That's a three terabyte drive. So, let me go to movies. You can see how this looks. And go down to jump. Now, I have some movie sets set up here. You can see how they work. Now, for example, oh, Pixar movies always make a good example because computer animation is always such high quality. So, play the beginning of Toy Story 3 here. Now you can see when it started that it changed the refresh rate of the monitor of the TV to 24 hertz from 60. And since the movies, but since movies are filmed at 24 hertz, that makes the display a lot better. See, it changes back to 60 frames per second here. Okay, show you a TV show real quick. The TV shows got nice banners there. on this intro. This can also play music. Oh, I don't have it set up yet. I'll have to do that. Not a big deal. But anyway, what else can it do? Out of XBMC. Okay. Don't, I don't really have this set up yet to run it from XBMC. That's something I'm planning on doing. Project 64. That'll make it widescreen.
64. Now come down here. Okay. Now, of course, all these emulators are controlled with my Xbox 360 controller that I showed you earlier. I actually got it for this. I actually don't have an Xbox 360 because I, I prefer to play games on PC whenever I can. As you can guess, you might not be able to see it in the video, this looks way, way better than it would on a real PS2. Dolphin. One more to show you, and for that I got to pair my, my, my Wiimote. So I go to, ah, where is it? Oh yeah, Wiimote right here. Pair up, hold down one and two. It's got to install some drivers. It's got to do this every time. It's kind of annoying. You can probably see the sensor bar on top of the TV. I actually have to turn on the actual Wii to, to use it. Planning on getting a wireless one so I don't have to do that anymore. There we go. You see the player one lights on. So now that that's ready to go,
unfortunately, Galaxy doesn't run as well as it should. You can see it's, it's running kind of slow. Okay, well, I'm going to get out of this. About time to end this video. Thank you for watching. Um, I have a list of the computer components in the description. Any questions, just uh, let me know.